Well, the first question that is always asked to me when they see our chocolate color is basically how do we paint the chocolate? Is it something that we paint on top of the candy or is it how, how does it happen? And the way it happens is we paint inside the mold, which is a polycarbonate mold that uh, everybody uses, and it's cleaned up first with a uh, cotton ball to polish it to make it very shiny. First ingredient and very important is the cocoa butter. What we do, we use a pre-colored cocoa butter because it gives you a lot more consistency in your coloring. When you do your mix yourself, it's very difficult to get the right color every time and you can have difference when you send it to your store or to the customer, you have difference. So by using a pre-colored cocoa butter from company, it's always give you a better result. And uh, using that cocoa butter is very important to have the right temperature. If it's used too hot, it's going to give you a dull finish. If it's used too cold, it's going to clog your, your shooting gun. So the temperature of 89 degree uh, Fahrenheit is the perfect temperature to use inside the gun. There's all sorts of gun that uh, you keep in a hot box while you are shooting the cocoa butter. We just use a car gun that uh, at the shop. You can use all professional from different companies that there is out there. But with the quantity of gun we use, we prefer to go with a more common gun. The first step of the painting, naturally, is to have first the mold at the right temperature, which is room temperature around 72 degrees. Choose the color, and after that, start to make the effect that you're looking for. It could be small dots, big dots, or long lines, short lines, all sorts of different shots you can have. And another way to do it is with the splatter, which we do by mixing those cocoa butter and use a brush and brush it to give you more lines instead of dots. The process is reversal, so the first color you're going to send in your mold is the first color you're going to see on top of your candy. Once you fill up your gun with the cocoa butter, you have to make sure you don't have another color inside, so you have a perfect color, and you shoot your mold uh, completely to make the total shell of the mold, turning it either way and uh, keep shooting until you have all the cavities filled. After you finish shooting and cover all the cavities, you need to scrape the top of the mold so this way the next coat is not going to mix with your cocoa butter. Once you've finished to shoot and uh, scrape, you need to let dry the cocoa butter. So about 10-15 minutes would be enough. If not, uh, once you do your shell with your uh, chocolate, you could have bleeding coming out of your cocoa butter. For the finish, the last coat, this one we're gonna do a solid piece, so you can do a shell and fill it with uh, ganache, but if you do a solid piece like uh, we're doing right now, you just fill it with the uh, tempered chocolate, and after that you let it set for, I would say, half an hour, and after that you can pull them out of the mold just by reversing the mold. So as you can see by doing the inverted coloring, you can see it's very, very shining with the contact with the plastic and all the different color and all the different design that give you a really shiny uh, candy.